StoryCorps CT features interviews gathered by the StoryCorps Mobile Tour in Connecticut. Doreen Richardson spoke with her friend Sandra Tate Eady. They both emigrated from Barbados when they were young. So Sandra, uh, we both immigrated here at a very young age. I was 16. How old were you again? I was the tender age of 12. Wow. And coming from the small island of Barbados, 166 square miles, what was it like? I came from a rural village in Barbados. My father and my sister and brother had recently joined my mother here. She was the first one here. And I remained in Barbados. But six months later, they decided I needed to come too. So here I am on a flight to join my parents. I have to say that I was initially very impressed. I was a very curious child. So I was looking around. I was like, I love the lights. There was so much to like. I, I was happy to see my sister because we'd grown up together. My brother, we'd separated in January of 75. I came in July. So we were back together. So that part was exciting. But prior to that, my mother was working in the city and she had dropped us off with my grandparents when we were just like months old. So I had never actually lived with either of my parents. So my grandparents, mm -hmm. my aunts and uncles raised me and my sister and my brother. So we were literally leaving the comfort of a small village with family in every direction, stable church life, stable school life, coming to America to people we barely knew, a.k.a. my mom. Wow. Um, what about you? Mm -hmm. I would have to say <laughs> mine was different. I came when I was 16 and I had begged my mother to leave me in Barbados. I did not want to come. I had plans. I sort of a vision for myself. I was going to study psychology. I knew who I was in that space and I knew what I was capable of doing. I knew I had the respect of my peers and my teachers. I had a support network. I had no interest in coming to America. That was my mother's dream. When we arrived, my eldest sister came to meet us school was going to start in the fall like a, maybe a week or two later here at Capital Community College and I remember my sister she asked me what I wanted to study and I remember saying to her I wanted to study psychology and my sister I know she thought she was doing what was best for me and for our family and she said your mother and father ain't got no kind of money to send you to any kind of school to study psychology that's years of study so you're going to study business and you are going to go downtown and get a job so I dove into school I did what I need to do. And even though it took me a long time to get through my associate degree, I was able to share up part of my intellect that allowed me to engage with the society that I found myself in. So I got a job, I, I excelled at my job, I learned about things from people at work, I acted on those things. I also got married at a young age and just threw myself into raising a family. And so a lot of the decisions I made about myself were within the context of, well, what do I need to do to provide for my family? What do I need to do to be a good role model for my children? And that's one of the reasons I went back to school and finished my bachelor's and ultimately I got my MBA, but I never felt confident about putting roots down here. There were several attempts on my part and Errol's part after we got married to relocate to the Caribbean. He's from Antigua. So we lived in Antigua for about two and a half years after we got married with our first two children. And I, I think the kids were probably out of high school when I decided, clearly, I'm still here. <laughs> and so at some point, I'm going to have to own this American self. Doreen Richardson in Windsor and Sandra Tate Eady in Hartford, Connecticut, produced locally by Connecticut Public Radio. See and hear more stories at ctpublic.org slash StoryCorpsCT. The StoryCorps mobile tour is made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. StoryCorps CT is supported locally by Connecticut Humanities with funding from Connecticut's Department of Economic and Community Development, the Office of the Arts, and the State Legislature.